All right, question. <clears throat> this is from uh, username your mom. Oh. Yep. If your friend squeals a lot, how do you break it to them that they aren't funny? <laughs> so there's a couple assumptions here. Uh, one, your friend isn't funny. Sorry. S- Stop um, being friends with the pig from, from from Charlotte's Web, man. Stop being friends with the pig from anything, because all of them squeal, I guess. But they all um, squeal, and it's very rude to just look at an animal that's making its natural given noise and be like, "Wow, you're so not funny." <laughs> I mean, uh, I guess then I'll add in the givens here, the assumptions. Um, it is a human that is squealing. Well, not if your mom's a pig. Oh. <laughs> That's wow, that was really well done. Thank Think about you. that one. Go back fifteen seconds in this podcast, <laughs> listen to it, realize how good of a joke Zane made right there. Since the username of the person who asked the question is your mom. So if your friend squeals a lot, how do you break uh-huh. it to them that they aren't funny? The thing that's really getting me here is the, is the situation is the that pig. we're in. It's the pig, isn't it? It's the pig. It's <laughs> Okay. Ready? Get off Take the, the farm. Pig. All right, Get off so the you're farm. gonna manifest the pig on top of your brain right now just pull it out like the pensive does you know albus dumbledore with his little <laughs> wand and you're gonna put it into the memory well and away it goes no more pig Humans all right perfect here. all right well the problem is just where are we as humans is are we at a com are they saying just oh when we're out somewhere and a joke happens they their laugh is a squeal but somehow you never it, heard a squeal before no i'm just my my scenario here is when they say that they're not funny is it like they heard a joke and their laugh is just a squeal but like while they're squealing it just ruins your day is that oh. what we're getting at like they're just like yeah, wow just your laugh isn't friend. funny or are they separate like wow you you have a squealing laugh but also you've you are the worst joke teller I've ever met. Yeah, I wish I had a little more context because that's literally it. I, I'm, I'm wondering, are they squealing at their own joke? And uh, maybe maybe the end of this is uh, this squealing thing that's bothering you so badly that you have to remind them that they aren't funny is just the tip of the iceberg for the fact that you just actually don't enjoy them. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, we are a friendly therapist style podcast here i'm here to help people zane i don't know what you're talking about (laughs) i'm bringing the hard truth i'm here i'm here to help and here's how we do this all right Mm -hmm. you fight fire with fire they squeal you squeal you squeal twice as loud but like very obviously in their face and then look at them while you they if they're like are you making fun of me just say nah nah i've just no i was just after after all the years I finally get why it's so funny. I, <laughs> I, finally, <get> it <laughs> I finally understand where you're coming from. And then you just start going, wee, wee. <laughs> like the pig in the commercial. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. Every and, time they do the slightest squeal in this laugh that they definitely can't control in any way, <laughs> you just start making incessant pig noises. And now we're back on pigs. <laughs> Welcome back, memory. I pulled Wait, you back, back on from pigs. The... I I have no recollection of talking about pigs beforehand. Oh, you're right. Hold on. Now take your wand and grab right. it from the pensive, the one that looks like the pig. Um, oh. The memory that looks like a pig floating around in the pool. Okay, mm-hmm. but um, <clears throat> let's see. I mean, how do you break it to them? That could be one way. That's the very mean way. Mm-hmm, you could say, course. darling. You're just not doing it. Oh it just no! Now they're in a relationship. Working. Oh gosh. No, <laughs> no. It's just a. It's an endearing term. Okay. Um, in this scenario, it could be a relationship. I don't know, but and we'll just assume it's they're just close. Um, darling, you, this isn't your niche. Squealing just isn't the thing that's going to put you over the top. And it's out there. It's somewhere. You'll find it. I'm sure you will. And I believe in who you are. But the squealing thing, it's just not yours. Some people can pull off snapbacks. Will can't. But um, squealing is just not your thing. You could try snapbacks. That might be the thing to put you over snapbacks the Snapbacks might be your thing. It might be. You know what? You, snapbacks might be all the rage for you. Maybe you could go to the farm and wear snapbacks. See what the, uh, see what the uh, farmers think. If they say, wow, you're really rocking that snapback today. Also, we found a new person to squeal for us. His name is I'm a pig. And uh, I don't know how to break this to you. And you could be like, nah. You know what? It's cool. I've moved on. I'm a snapbacks kind of guy now. And you know what? Happy ending to the story. You're happy. The farmer's happy. The pig's happy. And, you're, pig's and you found your thing. Yeah. Wholesome answer for a wholesome question. It's a All whole right. family advice type of thing now. Yeah. 